Hi, this is Ivan. I'm gonna show you how to fix your garage door opener or at least try. The reason why I'm trying to fix my own garage door opener is because first of all, this is my house. Second of all, I got estimates from the lowest was 750, which is good price. Highest was 2000, which was like a lot to me for a garage door. But then when I started looking at it, I realized, you know what? It wasn't that bad. You know, it just, all it was was just a bracket and little parts to put together and retrofit. That's all it is, you know? And these guys are trying to get me for 750, $2,000, basically thinking, whoa, you know, let's get this sucker. So, nah, -uh, it ain't happening. What I'm gonna try to do is fix the garage door opener as cheap as possible and hopefully it works so this is what bent it on the garage door if you look right there i disconnected it and if you look right here it's bent it but i'm straightening it out what i'm doing is i'm putting it here on this vice i got this vice in north carolina salisbury and i got and i got them to build it for me the way I wanted it on top of this for a tractor brake drum and then what I'm doing here is smashing it trying to get it to how I want it and then right here too basically this is for a railroad little metal piece I found inside the road I got this metal track right here thanks to Peter thank you again Peter and I welded it all up and I'm thinking about how to reinforce this. Maybe some wood because it stays nice and light. Or I'm thinking maybe some metal. Well, I'll figure out what best works from here. And hopefully it works. Alright guys, so basically I bended this back into shape. Look, you see that? You see this nice crack right here? It's pretty long. I figured... With the vibration and the twisting that this is basically garbage i was going to try to reinforce it but i was like you know what this is going to take way too long you know try to figure something out so what i did is i bought this square tubing it's basically two inches thick two two inches all the way around so what i did was i see these notches right here and it has a space so i figured what the hell since i got square tubing i went ahead and cut it out did it myself and i threw some spray paint on it i'm not a good painter but i figured some protection is better than no protection so now i'm gonna let this dry and then i'm gonna go ahead and bolt it and put it all back together yeah so there's this bar that goes all the way across this that attaches to this Right here, you see where that thing came off right there? Well, turns out that bar is very important. I tried, I fixed this, I bolt, bolted it up. This did its job, but what ended up happening was that it started to mess up because I saw this right here started to bend. So you could tell that little crease right there. So what happened was, here's the bend. So, right there. You see, you see that bend right here? This will not do it. So what I did is I went to Home Depot. I bought this. It looks like it fits in there pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wedge it in there with the hammer, try to bolt it, try to reinforce it. I'm gonna bolt it back on. So I lied, it wasn't 20 bucks to fix all this. It came out to about $30, but let's see what happens. Wish me luck. So this is what I did. I put it in there. I basically made it into a sandwich. I got the bolts and I put two bolts on each side. The damage is right here. So I put one here, put one over there, bolted it. I'm hoping this will give it enough strength when I put it back on the garage door opener. It should be able to hold it, support the weight and work. So I bolted it, put it all back together. You can see how I lined it up. Bolt it all back in there. Came out great. Check this out. Now, the door. Closed.
open. So I was able to fix my garage door opener for less than 30 bucks and it worked out great. Now I have no background in being a handyman, anything like that. I just personally likes to fix my own stuff. First what I do is I study it, why it's broken, try to figure it out and then see what I can do. Just messing with it, you know? So anybody out there, just give it a shot. You can't break something that's already broken. What's the worst that could happen?